Are you thinking of dating a married woman? Then here are the things to watch out for before you make your first move. First of all, yes, dating a married woman can be done. Secondly, and I don't need to say this, you're stepping into dangerous territory. If it goes wrong, it goes very wrong. There are lots of traps to avoid, but this video will reveal the biggest one of all. Avoid this trap, and you can give a married woman that happiness even her husband couldn't hope to give her. Fall into this trap, and you might find it best to move to a different city or country. Yup, it's that serious. Now, before I tell you all about this biggest trap of all, do take a moment to give this video a quick like. That way, you'll keep getting eye-opening dating advice on your YouTube recommendations. Go ahead, do it now. I'll wait right here. Click like and I'll tell you about the biggest trap of all. Go ahead and click like now. Done? Awesome. Let's move right on. Let me tell you about the biggest trap of all when it comes to dating a married woman. First, let's make an important distinction. There are two types of married women out there, happily married and unhappily married. And between the two, only the latter are very eager to have trysts with men like you. So to stay on the safe side, if she's happily married, it's best to not date her at all. Trust me on this. On the other hand, when you're sure she's unhappily married, then it's all systems go. Just watch out for the biggest trap of all though. What's the trap? It's her expectations. More specifically, it's when you do not meet her expectations. This happens when, say, you promise to stay in touch with her and you don't. Or when you get her all hot and bothered, take her to bed, and end up disappointing her. That's what I mean by not meeting her expectations, and it's the biggest, most dangerous trap of all. Why? It's all because of the light switch effect. When you fail to meet her expectations, her love and lust for you will turn to bitterness and hate. And it happens instantly, like the flick of a switch. What happens next? She'll craft a story in her mind that you tricked her or that you're harassing her. You get the idea. And from there, word starts to get around and your reputation will be in grave danger. That's why I said it's best to move out of town if you fall into this trap. Do you agree that not meeting a married woman's expectations is the biggest trap of all? Type yes or no in the comments box below so I'll know what you think. In any case, there's some good news. There's a way to meet her expectations and make her super excited to have a tryst with you. It's called the Whirlwind Romance Sequence, and I'm about to show you how to use it. You're about to learn a near foolproof way to make any unhappy wife fall for you hard. You'll love it, and she will too. Before that though, do take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Before you'll notice, no topic is too taboo or sacrosanct to be discussed here. And so we're able to get to the root of every single dating problem we tackle in my videos. Be a subscriber and you'll continue to get dating advice that actually works. After all, life's too short to be making any more mistakes with women, am I right? So go ahead, click subscribe, join the club, and let's move right on. Have you subscribed? Great, welcome aboard. So let me tell you all about the Whirlwind Romance Sequence. It was developed by the semi-secret online community, Shogun Method. And full disclosure, I belong to said community. We're a group of about 17,000 men around the world who focus on one thing, and that is the application of deep psychology and mind control to the dating game. The Whirlwind Romance Sequence is a technique designed specifically for married women, and yet it will work for you only if you first understand how the mind of an unhappy wife works. So what goes through the mind of an unhappily married woman? Long story short, she'll only go on a tryst with you only if she can prove it wasn't her idea. Let me explain. The worst case scenario for her would be if other people found out she slept with another man. To protect herself, she'll need to be able to say, it was his idea, or he made me do it. That way, her reputation will remain largely intact. She's the victim, not the perpetrator. Now, you might think, that's not fair. Well, that's not the point, my dude. The point is, before she even considers sleeping with you, she needs that peace of mind. 
She needs to know she can be blameless and faultless if other people ever found out. Why is that okay? Simple, because if no one ever finds out about you two, she'll never rat on you. She won't. Her reputation's intact. Why would she risk it by ratting you out? So she won't. I hope you get the dynamics now. So that's the key. If you want to get into a tryst with her, she absolutely must have some peace of mind. How do you give that to her? With the whirlwind romance sequence, that's how. Here's how it works. The first step of the whirlwind romance sequence is this. Make her admit she's unhappy in her marriage. For instance, you can ask her, so how's life at home? Then check if she answers in a lukewarm or negative way. You'll know it when she says something like, Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. Or, well, can't complain. You can then ask about her husband. For instance, you can ask, Your husband's not being horrible, is he? And if she gives the slightest indication that he is, you immediately tell her, Ah, I know exactly what you mean. I won't tell a soul. This is to make her feel two things. First, that you know how unhappy she feels, and second, that her secret is safe with you. Afterward, it's time for the second step, and that is to destroy her horrible husband in her mind. Here, you immediately jump into assumptions. You can ask, so is he busy? Sick? Drunk? What's keeping him from satisfying you? When she tells you her grievances about her husband, you say something that paints you in a better light, such as, wow, I mean, I'm just your friend, but even I wouldn't do that to you. Or, crazy, I'm busy too, but I'd never prioritize my work over my woman, so how else is he screwing up? You see what's going on? You're egging her on, making her rant about her horrible husband more and more. Meanwhile, you're presenting yourself as a safe, attractive candidate for a tryst. And then finally, when she admits she likes you, or when she says something like, I wish he were more like you, then it's time for the third step. Now you tell her, well, it's settled then, let's go somewhere private. If her husband is sufficiently destroyed, she'll gladly go with you. And if she hesitates, just say, tell you what, we'll stay for 15 minutes. If you're not feeling it, I'll drive you home, scouts on her. A little reassurance is often all it takes. Once you're alone together, though, she'll gladly play along. After all, number one, she wants it, and number two, it was your idea. That's the secret formula. That's the whirlwind romance sequence, and it's your key to dating a married woman. Now, you might be thinking, that's kind of risky, Fredo. Is there a safer way to make her fall in love with me? Well, if you have more time on your hands, and if you meet her regularly, then yes, there is. It's another technique called fractionation, and for that matter, if you're new to using science and psychology in the dating game, I suggest you use it first. And spoiler alert, fractionation is another shogun method technique. It's designed to make a woman not just like you, and not just feel attracted to you. Instead, it makes her feel addicted to you. Yep, you heard that right. Imagine her addiction to shopping, gossip, or TV dramas. Now imagine her being that addicted to you. That's how fractionation works, and it works wonders on unhappy wives, too. So here's the deal. At the end of this video, click the link that pops up. It will take you to a special online masterclass on mind control hosted by the folks at Shogun Method. You'll learn what fractionation is, how it works, and how to use it. You'll be amazed at how quickly she'll warm up to you when you use it on her. The catch? You got to use your best email address when signing up. That's where we'll send your invite ticket. Go ahead, do it now. So remember, if she's happily married, don't even try to date her. On the other hand, if she's unhappy, then it's game on. Fractionation is one of the best and most reliable ways to do it right. So join the master class, master it today, and make her very, very happy.